friends, this is some dramatic music for a survivor. This is a TX CX 650R. This is a good old fashioned, uh, like this is when they first started doing the touch button. So, uh, this one came to me from a friend who is like, Hey, listen, uh, let's see if we can get this thing moved. And it's like, yeah, sure. Um, I told him when I saw it initially, I'm like, okay, we're probably selling this one for parts. Uh, but, uh, surprise, it works and the belts are still good. I'm not changing the belts on it. I'm going to leave that for the next person as well as a nice, good cleanup. Uh, it does need it. And some of the, uh, buttons have like scarring on them. I don't know if this is surface dirt. Uh, yeah, it is. It just it just needs a really good cleanup. Uh, the case is in really good shape. Uh, the wood case. Some of the knobs have some scarring on them. Uh, we think potentially this was used in a home studio um, for recording. So, anyways, let's go through some of the items on here. It has auto reverse. Uh, it has the timer on play out record. Uh, this is uh, the Timer is actually working. The counter is actually working. The eject is nice and slow, as it should be. The uh, cover is in really good shape. Not uh, any deep scratches or anything that can't be. Uh, you know what? I'm going to knock the camera over here. I'm sorry. Uh, the heads, when I check those out, they look like they're in pretty good shape as well. You can see them in here. Uh, they look used. I mean, it's there. There's probably some buildup that needs cleaned up on them. Let's get that on there. Put the cassette in. All right. What I have noticed so far. So you have the rewind, right? Stop. Fast forward. Stop. It's kind of a noisy little player. It's just so cool. <laughs> it has the uh, pause auto spacer. Not sure what that does. Record. Well, that records, right? <laughs> so, uh, play in this direction works just fine. Of course, we're at the end of the cassette now. So if we play this direction, it you can hear it's a little slow on the uptake and the uh, second spindle is not pulling in. So we're gonna play it this way just to get this cassette wound back in. There we go. Okay, so it absolutely needs belts changed. I uh, can say that for sure. Uh, I was just kind of impressed that it actually <laughs> took up and, and went, right? Uh, and who wouldn't be impressed by something that's this old, just picking up and going? I would guess just from that uptake, how it's just kind of uh, that it's very likely the uh, belts are sticky. So. All right, some of the features it has. Now you'll hear it staticking. These uh, knobbies, I'm gonna call them knobbies. They are, they do need deox really bad. Uh, memory play on off. I do not know what that does. Bias, of course, that's for when you're recording. Um, metal, um, uh, 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 CRO2 <laughs> and normal. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm batting really well here. And then equalizer for metal, CRO2 and normal. Dolby, uh, in, out, uh, MXN, and then inputs uh, for your mic and line. So you have an input on the back as well. So that is pretty much it. The meters seem to be working well. It does seem to be working in stereo as this, this actually is a very uh, active stereo uh, composure, I guess, the way this was recorded. Anyway, so you should see more happening on one side than the other. So that is it. This dude is an absolute survivor. I'm going to go ahead and take the camera up here and just give you a good look around here. All right, I hope that is enough detail to assess whether or not this dude is something that you would want or not. It's listed out on eBay here in a couple of hours. Um, 
but by the time this gets listed, it'll already be out there. So how about that? Go take a look. Good luck. And uh, hope you enjoy it if you get it. It's definitely a survivor. Will need some work. Looks fun though. Great project. Thanks for watching.